Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm doing the last part of the stone job. I'm filling in the joints, grouting them in, pointing them up, slicking them, all that good stuff. So you can see I've got a little bit here already, about halfway up where I'm at on the stone wall. So now I'm ready to start grouting in. So all you're gonna need for right now is a grout bag. You wanna make sure that it's wet and slick on the inside, because if it's not wet and slick on the inside, you're gonna have a really hard time pushing this out. Another tip, if it starts to get hard pushing out, you gotta dump it out, right? Cause you can't push it through the end of the hole. Uh, wash the bag out continuously, you have a bucket of water, make sure it's it's always wet. You are gonna have a uh, wet hand, so if you have a hose, that's better than a bucket, but I don't. And uh, it makes your hands hurt really bad and they get wet and pruned and all that. But anyway, you want your, your mud decently wet. So I put about two or three scoops in there. This is a little stiff, but it'll be all right. All right, so you get it like this, right? You got three scoops. You're gonna pinch the bag like that and you're gonna twist, okay? You're gonna get all the air out of there. So the thing you're gonna do is twist with this hand too, and it'll squirt right out. So, twist the end and continually twist it as you go, right? And you just squeeze the end. Over here. It's a nice angle. So when you're grouting this in, it is super important that you get all the way back in with the nose. You want this thing filled up. You don't want any air pockets in the mortar that's bad okay mr garrison anyway so squeeze it right and make sure it's as filled up as possible you're going to push it out right you're going to have you're going to fill these joints up and that's pretty much it you got to fill them all up like that make sure the nose is in there and make sure you squeeze it till it starts coming out of the joints and you do that all over and like I said as far back as you can go squeeze push it out far back squeeze push it out I usually start from the bottom but this is just a good angle to show you so I start from the bottom and I come up the wall and uh, so once I get it all filled in I'll show you what to do next all right so I'm done I got it all filled in and now the next part is you pretty much just got to wait so it's really wet and uh, I'm gonna explain the different types of things that are happening. So right now, the conditions that I'm dealt with, it's a real stone, it's not a, it's not a fake veneer, right? So the stone actually kinda like pushes the water away. So this takes forever to set up, right? Also, it's uh, February uh, and it's about 50, 55 degrees, so it's not very hot. It's in the shade, right? So I have a long, long time before it's ready to go. You want it to, be crumbly, right? You want it to crumble. So if it's wet like this, don't touch it. Don't with your slicker because uh, you'll dirty the face up and it'll look really bad. So we gotta wait till it gets crumbly. So say it was the summertime, right? And in the sunshine, do not run away from this, all right? Also, uh, do not do a lot at once, right? Probably should only do about half of this at a time. The reason I can, it's, it's colder. It's in the shade, it's not gonna set up. If uh, it was hot out, you'd only wanna do about half of it because it'll blow up on you all at once and it'll be so hard, you'll burn the joints, everything. So it kinda depends on the weather. So you gotta know what you're doing with the weather wise. Also, if it was veneer stone, it's concrete, it sucks the water up really fast. It'll dry it up. So go watch my other video about the fake stone because you wanna wet the wall down and uh, make the mud super wet because it is just gonna pop, like blow up so fast. So it really depends on the, the materials that you're using, the weather. So think about that before you just go and put a whole bag in the wall and then it's all hard as a brick and you can't do anything with it and it looks like you just squeeze it out of the grout bag or all the burnt, the joints will be black. So just know what you're doing with the weather. And uh, so right now, I'm gonna go get a coffee, chill out for a minute, clean up all my mess here and uh, wait for this to get to the point where I'm ready to start slicking it. All right, so now that it's hard enough, I'll show you how to 
do this part. So the way you can tell if it's hard enough is if it's crumbling, right? So I can take a piece of this. And the reason you want it hard is because it's like almost too hard, but it won't stick to your stones, right? Because you, you want to keep the face as clean as possible. Now, the reason, another reason why you want it hard is because you want to be able to push it in, right? You want to pack this in. So I usually have to take a finger and do it, right? And you push all the air out of your joints. So you push it all out. Pack it in best you can. So you're packing it in and all those crumbs fall out and it's not going to get your stone dirty. And you just follow your stones. So the biggest thing is you want all your joints to be smooth. You think about it like a river, right? You want them all running along here smooth just like a river. So pack in, make sure there's no air back there. So I'll just do this stone right here. <laughs> so you get it all done, right? Pretend, pretend I did all this, but just for the sake of the video, we get it like that, right? So just this stone. It's done, everything. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a Picasso brush. So this is pretty firm, right? Uh, so you can brush away all the stuff. So you brush it away. Brush away all the lines from your slicker. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Now, what I do, and I do this on every stone, you take the edge of your slicker and you go right around this and you cut away any uh, mortar that's stuck to the sides, right? It really makes the stones pop out at you. So you follow that, follow this, make sure that you got it all flat and you want it the same depth as your stone. So this one's a little, di uh, little bit out you're gonna cut in, right? So it looks like that. Right, brush it again. Down here. And it like, just pops out at you, it looks really good, right? And then as soon as you're done with the entire wall, I take a brush like this, like for my block, and I brush away all of the extra crumbs. So there's nothing left, and it looks like that. So there's a finished part over there. So you can tell how nice that looks. Everything's popping out at you. Looking real smooth, looking real good. And when it's hard, it'll look like this side. This side's all done completely. And you just tell it looks really nice, all the stones pop out at you. And uh, if you want to get real fancy, you can even do what I did here. I wrote my cousin's names, Summer, Tyler, Walker, my aunt, Bobby Joe, Uncle, Alan right there. I wrote that into the joint, so that'll be there forever, they like that. So that's pretty much it. So if you got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just put them in the comments, and thanks for watching.